Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Holly and today is another new pen day. It's my birthday and new pen day, of course, because what would I ask for for my birthday? What would I gift to myself? A new pen. Gosh, don't you know me by now? Jeez, like it could be anything else. Let's get to unboxing. Here it is. Da -da -da. A delivery from Jet Pens. Now, because this was a special occasion, uh, the occasion of my birth, which I think is pretty special, I gifted myself a pen I'd had my eye on for, oh gosh, feels like forever. It is the Pilot Vanishing Point in the Raiden Galaxy. I have had my eye, like I said, on this pen for quite some while and seen the price continue to tick up and up and up and up on this guy on all three of the Raiden pens, which are all three quite beautiful. And I would happily accept any of those three, but the one that I particularly had eyes for was the Galaxy. I noticed recently that a huge uptick in the price on most of the pen sites. They went from 500 dollars, 500 and change to 800, 850 dollars. I don't know if there's a new shipment that they sold out of all the ones they had in stock previously at the lower price and got a new shipment in, but the price went up anywhere between 200, 300 dollars depending on which site you were looking at. Jet pens still had them for <laughs> It's still pricey. It's still a pricey pen, but it was $300 less than the two other sites that I was looking at. So I thought, well, no time like the present. Ha <laughs> ha, like that pun, because I made a present of it to myself for my birthday. I am pun-tastic. Stick around for more dad jokes. I know that's not what you're here for. You're not here for the jokes. You're here for the pens. We are going to pop this open with, again, the gangrene inducing box knife. Still quite dull. I still could probably open this more effectively with a butter knife with less chance of actually losing a digit. Enough of that. Ah, that was satisfying. I just love these little cartoons that they put on their packing lists. Jet pens, I love you. I don't know if you can tell from the picture. Pretty little foil there, but it's a lovely textured box. Very pretty. Okay, take a look at that here in a minute. Would you look at that? Now I purchased this in a medium nib because that's what they still had um, on the website. I will probably buy another nib in a fine or an extra fine. I'm not a huge fan of medium or bold nibs. I'm getting used to them but for writing, I generally prefer a finer point. Let's look. Pilot. Got all of the accoutrements here. Raiden and Renkaku, mother of pearl and eggshell. Mother of pearl inlay and eggshell can be harmed by exposure to acid. Okay, why, why would I have it exposed to acid? But okay, good to know that acid poured on this could affect the pen. That seems like a gimme, but maybe not. Look at that. In its pretty red velvet bed. Doesn't that look fancy? Ooh, we are now entering the domain of people who drink tea with their pinky out. This is a fancy. By the way, I am not typically considered one of those people. <laughs> Those people want nothing to do with me. And vice versa. Ooh. 
Can you see the sparkle in that? Wow! It is so beautiful. Oh, I can already tell I'm in love. It's true love, too. As Owen Wilson would say, wow. Owen Wilson, call me. I'm kind of like a crow with things that go sparkle. I'm just, I keep turning this pin over and over and over again and I'm like <gasps> hypnotized. I'm hypnotized by the sparkly sparkle in that deep black. That really does look like that universe contained in a pen. That is something special right there. No regrets of this purchase so far, despite the price tag. Okay, I'm gonna fill this thing up and let's see how it writes. Several bad puns later. Okay, I'm back. I've filled the pen up with some ink I'm kind of disappointed. I don't know why. Maybe it was the price tag, but I'm kind of disappointed. This pen did not come with a converter. It came with an empty cartridge, but it did not come with a converter at all. And I kind of expected that for the price tag. That seemed a little cheap. Pilot, kind of a cheap trick on that one, considering. However, the pen itself, not disappointed with the way it looks for certain. Let's hope that the way it functions, because it is a pen, it's meant to be written with. Let's see about a writing sample. I had three, three choices, three inks that I was trying to pick from that I had samples of. And I'll just show you in this little swatch book the ones that I had debated on because I guess I'm that person. I wanted to stick with a kind of a theme. This is the galaxy, and I wanted to stick to that kind of theme in the ink that I picked. The two inks that were under serious consideration were Moon Dust, which has a little bit of shimmer. There's not a little bit of sheen to it. There's not a lot in that sample that shows up. Uh, and it's a, it's a gray. I don't currently have a pen inked up with gray ink. Diamine Night Sky was also a contender. It is, it definitely has some shimmer in it. And I'm not too worried, even though the Pilot brand nibs are a little finer than the European nibs, I'm not too worried about it clogging up with any sort of shimmer particles because it is a medium nib. The other one that I was considering was this blue. I'm not a huge fan of blues, but I do like this dark one called Dragon's Night. Ooh, that's lovely. I also briefly considered Shogun, but that's not sticking with my galactic theme. I went with Moon Dust. Let's take a look and see how it's gonna write. This is my little swatch book in an A6 size. It's the Hobonichi day free in this lovely butterfly, white butterfly cover. And it's got the Tomoe River paper in it. That's very fountain pen friendly. So we should be able to get a good sample of the writing. This is not my first Vanishing Point Rodeo. I do have several of these because I, I love the capless function. Let's zoom in just a little. I wanna zoom in just a little more even. So right out of the gate, man, smooth, ooh, 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 start. This is the pilot vanishing point, Raiden Galaxy. Man, that is laying down ink like a champ. I may have a new favorite and of all things, it is a medium nib, which is really outside of my comfort zone for writing. That moon dust ink definitely has some shading qualities that are very pretty, but it's still quite legible. It's one of the things that I dislike about lighter 
inks that have shading qualities is that sometimes the letters just dis seem to dissipate into the paper when that shading takes effect. But this one is very legible. I am enjoying that so far. The longer I'm writing with this, the more my dissatisfaction at not getting a converter with this is dissipating. I am going to have trouble staying mad at this pen or at Pilot for not giving me a bloody converter with this very expensive pen. I am also revising the idea of putting a finer nib in this pen. I'm actually kind of enjoying the medium. I didn't think I would. Well, that's exciting. All in all, folks, a very nice writing experience. The one downside, it did not come with a converter, which was disappointing, but I'm getting over it. This one's a keeper. Thanks guys, see you next time. Keep writing.